Hey guys, how's it going? In this video we're going to recap Ohm's Law, so let's get into it. Now, Ohm's Law was seen in the National 5 Physics Electricity course, but it's also useful to remember for the higher physics course as well, so this should act as a bit of revision. It says here that in National 5, the experiment on Ohm's Law investigated the relationship between current and voltage for a resistor. The results produced the following graph. So you might remember doing this experiment where you change the current passing through a resistor and you write down the voltage or potential difference across that resistor. And if you plot the results on a graph, you get something that looks like this. So I've plotted mean voltage against current and you'll see we get a straight line through the origin. And from this graph, it's clear that the voltage across a resistor is directly proportional to the current passing through it, as long as temperature remains constant. We say that this is Ohm's law. So remember, a straight line through the origin graph tells us that the two variables on the axes are directly proportional. And remember, this just means as one of them goes up, the other one goes up at the same rate, or if one goes down, the other one goes down at the same rate. We can also express Ohm's law mathematically via this thing here. V is directly proportional to I. So this tells us Ohm's law in a very simplified symbol form. So voltage is directly proportional to the current for a resistor. It then says that using a mathematical trick, we can form an equation. So you might remember that if we have this proportional sign, we can get rid of this sign and introduce the equal sign if we multiply the thing on the right hand side by a constant. So we get V equals a constant times I, and this constant is actually the resistance. So therefore, with a wee bit of rearranging there, we get the equation for Ohm's law, which is V equals IR where V is the voltage measured in volts, I is current measured in amperes, and R is resistance measured in ohms. This equation will come in handy for lots of the questions that you'll see for the electricity topic. It goes on to say that this tells us that the resistance is a constant for ohmic conductors like resistors, which makes sense since the gradient of a line is the same at all points. So you might remember that the gradient of the line on the above graph gives us resistance. So if I look back at this graph here, Remember, if we were to choose two points on this line and calculate the gradient using the change in y over the change in x, I would actually find the resistance value of the resistor that was used in this experiment. So the gradient of this straight line of voltage against current gives us resistance. Lastly, it says there, the greater the resistance, the smaller the current if the voltage is fixed. So if the voltage stays the same, we should expect that as resistance goes up, the current goes down. And just to help you visualize this, I'm going to show you a quick simulation. So let's say I've got a simple circuit with a 1.5 volt battery here, I've got a current of 7.5 milliamps flowing through my circuit and it's going clockwise in this case. And you can hopefully see that as I increase the resistance in my circuit, my current value gets smaller and smaller. And the opposite will also happen. So as I decrease the resistance, my current will get bigger and bigger. And remember in this equation, that's assuming that voltage is staying constant and our current and our resistance can change because they are opposites. Another thing to point out here is that as I increase the resistance, you can see we get more and more black dots appearing in the resistor here. And these are representing the electrons that are being stopped inside the resistor. If we were to keep the resistance of the resistor the same, i.e. 200 ohms in this case, just like in the Ohm's law experiment, then you can see that as we change the voltage, the current also changes. So as we increase voltage, current increases, and as we decrease voltage, the current decreases. And remember, that's because these two are directly proportional to each other. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video one of these, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.